Hey everybody, those of you that follow me on Instagram may have seen this little 84 Schwinn World Sport I bought last January at the flea market. It uh, has a lot of components that are rusted and are extremely neglected. The original Sagino crank, you can see how dull it is from just pure neglect. Brake calipers, the aluminum is just dull. Old foam handlebar grip just held on with cellophane tape stem shifter it was actually built by giant in may of 84 but it's suffering from a lot of neglect and just needs some uh, tender love and care And here's the finished product and starting at the top we kept the original handlebars and uh, you see the champion wreath I did kind of tweak them out a little bit put a little custom bend on them myself I kept the original brakes which says Schwinn approved but I am sure these were built by Diacomp, the same one that built the calipers. And uh, you can see on these, I have this quick release. And that opens up your caliper brakes. I used a synthetic leather wrap, just because I like the look of it. And since these don't have brake hoods, I did a waxed twine wrap here, as well as a waxed twine wrap to finish off the bars. I added a brass temple bell just because I like it. <laughs> and down here at the front you can see the Diacomp 500 caliper brakes. And of course I've got hammered fenders front and back. I added down tube shifters rather than the stem shifters that the old mid 80s bikes came with. Just easy maintenance. You can see the Schwinn World Sport decals. This is the original front derailleur. It's a Suntour AR. Uh, the AR decal came off of it when I soaked it in Evaporus because this thing really was rusty. And this is the original crank, original chain rings. I did add uh, a flat pedal. I like flat pedals. I'm not a performance rider. I'm out there to have fun and enjoy myself. And uh, with some meniscus knee problems, these things are great. These are cheap pedals. These are Rock Brothers. I paid 25 bucks for these. Uh, and I will rival these against any of the flat pedals I got on my Yeti or on my fat bike. They have a seven day return policy if you don't like them. Uh, one year guarantee, replaceable bearings added uh, a seven speed freewheel rather than the six speed that came original on it so I could get that 37, uh, 34 tooth super low sprocket helps an old man out on those heels uh, I did have to add an Alivio wide range rear derailleur uh, that was rated for 11 to 34 tooth which is exactly what I've got and that's uh, not an expensive derailleur but I'm not sure about keeping this gearing yet you can see the original Schwinn uh, built by giant sticker uh, this is the first sticker I've seen that was still on one of these bikes you can barely make out 136 and that correlates with the front head badge about being built on the 136th day of 1984 you can get a better look at that Diacomp caliper brake and like I said, the Velo Orange hammered fenders. I took out the original steel seat post and I added an Origin 8 aluminum that's got the pivoting adjustment where you can make fine adjustments with it. And uh, I settled on a really cheap saddle. But believe me, this is the most comfortable saddle I've got. And I've got some good saddles in there in the shed. But that thing is just extremely comfortable for a $25 saddle.
Uh, 84, I think, was one of the first years they added uh, water bottle bosses. And this is a king cage that's lowered. The wheels are wheel master. My pockets don't run deep enough for a set of high dollar custom wheels. So I settled for these. I've got about 300 miles on this bike so far. And these things have worked great. And I've got sun rims laced to originate hubs. They've got sealed bearings with DT stainless steel 14 gauge spokes. I pulled out the original cup and cone headset bearings and replaced that with a Velo Orange Grand Crew sealed bearing headset. Also, I added the sealed bearing bottom bracket. It's nice and quiet, nice and slick, just smooth as it can be. So this bike rides out extremely nice. I intend to add a randonneering type bag on the front here where my portier rack is, but I haven't decided exactly on which one I'm going to get. So in the meantime, let's strap us a soft side cooler on there and let's make us a run to the grocery store.